Instead, though, back out here live, we're going to heat things back up. We're going to head back on over to the grill here with the executive chef with Bushes here. This is Chef Russ. Thanks again for joining us here tonight. And we talked last time about steaks. That's right. Next most daunting thing for mm -hmm. people, sometimes of equal level, is seafood. Yeah. So what is it that, is it more difficult, less difficult, or is it just a different way to go about doing it? Yeah, it's definitely a different way of going about uh, grilling seafood. Uh, we talked about what steaks to select. Well, you, you, have to collect, you have to select seafood as well. So you could be grilling, say, shrimp, you know. Uh, you know, I've got a swordfish steak on here now. People love to grill salmon. Uh, that's a great one. But I think if you want to do something for the first time, maybe select a, a piece of fish that is a little firmer and is going to work for you on the grill a little bit better. So that kind of goes off something. Let me know if I'm wrong in saying this. Swordfish steak, I have heard, can be treated much like a regular steak because of how dense it is. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, it absolutely. As you can see right there, uh, the steak is nice and firm. Yeah. So what do we do with going about that? Do we have to adjust the heat a bit differently? What yeah, you're going to have different cook times for everything. And definitely, um, you know, for a swordfish steak, I would say get a nice hot grill. Matter of fact, for most seafood, you're going to start with a hot, hot grill. Uh, and it's not going to take long, right? The flank steaks uh, over here, you can see they take uh, quite a while. It could take 20, 30 minutes on mm -hmm. the grill, where the swordfish is only going to take 10. Gotcha. Now, skin on or skin off? Uh, there, yeah, so you can have it either way, that's for sure. You can see there's a little bit of skin right here mm -hmm. uh, for, for the swordfish. Typically, most of the times, you're going to see some skin for the swordfish. Uh, for salmon, though, or, uh, or another piece of fish, maybe skin off would be better. Gotcha. And when we come into some of these things, too, especially with shrimp, you get those, like, wood skewers. You want to make sure yeah. you soak them first, right? Yeah, that's a great idea always, you know, soaking the wooden skewers so that what, they don't burn and, and crisp and fall down through the grates. And same thing with cedar planking? Cedar planking, that's a lot of fun. So cedar planks, um, what I recommend is spraying them first with a little bit of your cooking spray like okay. this right here uh, and so that the fish doesn't stick. Um, but once you got them on the grill and they start getting a little brown, uh, you put your seafood on there and it, it'll cook. Also closing the grill if you're doing cedar planks. Okay, so that's the big difference then because we talked yeah. last time about can you grill open or close the so cedar planks closed. Yeah, definitely I would have some part of the cooking process closed because uh, the, the fish is not directly in contact with the grill grates. Now, I have to ask you a question that came into us on our Facebook page. We did a Facebook Live before the broadcast, and one of you asked, all right, so when it comes to seafood yeah. and grilling on a cedar plank, can I just go to a home goods store and get a piece of cedar wood, saw a piece off, and grill on that? I would buy uh, cedar planks that are for food purposes, right? So no sawdust or anything like that, or uh, somebody could be cutting cedar planks, and it's kind of, you know, there could be like some little pieces of wood that you could get a, a splinter with. So I would buy something that's uh, in store and ready to be cooked. Yeah, on these the grill. things are prepped specifically for this. Kind they of sure are. Perfect. Now, when it comes to seafood as well, obviously we we talked about open, closed, skin on, skin off, that kind of thing. Do you have a a? I'm going to ask you a more personal question. Do you have a favorite that you like to throw on there uh, for seafood? Yeah, uh, I love grilling shrimp. Big shrimp is always a great presentation because typically when you're grilling shrimp, you're also grilling steaks. Gotcha. And you're doing a nice surf and turf with shrimp and steak. It's so great. Perfect. Thanks, Chef Russ. We're going to be back here in the five o'clock hour to talk veggies and fruits on the grill. Back to you, Amir.